10 o'clock tonight. I love it. We'll check in with them again in just a minute. It's going to be cold out there Ooh, tonight. Anna. Yes, tonight it is going to be bitterly cold. Temperatures in the 30s and feeling like the 20s or even feeling like the teens in some spots because the wind is still coming from the north. And if you're heading out for more football tomorrow, Bedlam, of course, we all know it. We all love it. May not be a very exciting matchup for this year, but you are going to be very cold. 46 for pregame activities. We're already in the 30s by the time we hit kickoff, so it is going to be a little bit warmer than today. I would still consider this pretty cold. 32 by the time you hit halftime, it's feeling like the 20s and 30s, and then feeling like the teens for the fourth quarter. I'm not expecting a whole lot of people to make it that far um, with this riveting matchup that we're expecting tomorrow. View from space, currently seeing all that cloud cover all through Oklahoma. I think if you're not seeing flurries right now, you are seeing mostly cloudy to completely overcast skies. That's going to stay with us throughout the day today. The lack of sun is going to keep our temperatures on the cool side as well as the winds from the north. And now we're still seeing some snow showers or flurries on Next Gen Live from Norman up to Shawnee up to Stroud over to Henrietta. Some places in Tulsa this morning may have gotten some accumulating snow, but besides that, really just some harmless flurries. All of this up here from Enid over to Perry to Stillwater. You may see a few flurries, but I don't think a lot of that is making it to the ground. We haven't had any reports there. So this morning, still light flurries, a high chance of seeing them throughout the day today as we have that low cloud cover and cold, cold air um, in place. So we're looking ahead to Thanksgiving. I know that's what everyone wants to know about. Your chances for rain with every passing model run are decreasing. Some models still have it happening, so we still have a 20 and 30 percent chance in for Wednesday and Thursday. I know Wednesday, I think, is probably the day that most people are worried about because that's the day when people do their travels. Thursday, it's looking like we're mild, pretty quiet. If we do have rain, it will be in the morning. But right now, it's looking like our rain chances are decreasing. I'll show it to you now, though. We're chilly today, and the colder air pushes off to the north and east, so we no longer have that bitterly cold air, but we stay pretty cool, a little bit cooler than average, but we get back up into the middle 50s, and then we're in the 60s by midweek, which is right around average for this time of year. It's feeling very November-like as we head into Thanksgiving. There's the system that could possibly bring us some rain. It's not looking very impressive at this time, uh, but we'll continue to fine tune that forecast as it gets closer. And then we start to see a little bit of a warm up after Thanksgiving and into next weekend. But for today, no warm temperatures to be had. We have 30s, 20s, teens even. I'll show you that map in just a second. But there is our Norman cam low cloud deck and it is chilly. You can almost feel the chill on our Pike Pass Sky Cam Network. 31 degrees. It feels like 21 and our winds are at about 20 miles per hour. So there are the teens out in Cimarron County in low 20s through the Panhandle, upper 20s along the Oklahoma Kansas border and then low 30s of the warmest temperatures along the Red River at close to 40 degrees but still feeling very chilly. Gusts 10, 20, 30, close to 30 miles per hour now in Lawton, but that's just making our feels like temperatures feel like the 20s and teens. 34 degrees, your high temperature this afternoon, almost 30 degrees below average for this time of year. We didn't hit the record. Record is 35 in 2018, but we already hit 37, and that was at midnight. So no record-breaking cold for us today, but our afternoon temperature would have broken the record, I think, as 34 is our afternoon forecast high 23 overnight tonight it's feeling like the teens and single digits tomorrow afternoon a little bit warmer we bounce back into the 40s and then we're in the 50s by Sunday afternoon so heading out the door for tomorrow definitely bundle up for um, bedlam and then the weekend looks better we have a lot of sunshine on the way still track in a little bit of rain for your Thanksgiving but it's not looking too bad and don't worry today is the coldest of the next nine days